Hi, Cheryl Locke here for HotBlogTips.com, and in this Paint.net tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take one of your full color images and make it a black and white background, and you can have one element with full color to add a little pop. So stay tuned. Okay, here we are in Paint.net, which is a free photo editing program you can get for your PC. Here's what we're going to be making today. First thing I'm going to do is go grab one of my images and drop and drag and drop it in. Here we go. Doesn't look like much here, but we're going to get right to work on that. First thing I want to do is go up to my tools and get my cropping. I'm going to go to fix size because I like to have all of mine exact. I'm going to put it at 1200 and I like to have squares. We'll do height and width. There we go. And this will be my area that I'm going to crop it to. Once I get it exactly like I want it and the size I want it, I simply go up to image, crop to selection. There we have it cropped. Now I want it a little smaller, so I'm going to go to Image, Resize. I'm going to make it a thousand by a thousand square. There we go. I've got it resized and cropped. Next, I'm going to go to Effects. Go to Photo. I'm going to go all the way down to Sharpen Landscape. This will bring up this little box. As you can see, it does sky and grass. I'm going to turn those completely off. I'm going to leave the sharpen alone. And the saturation, you may have to adjust. As you move it down, you see it goes back to like it originally is. And if you take it too far, it might be a little bit too funky. So find the perfect spot. Once you've figured it out, go ahead and click OK. So there is my bright image, all cropped and resized. Now we're going to start working on making the background black and white with the flower to be purple. We're going to go up to Layers, Duplicate Layer. Click that. Once you've clicked this, you're going to see in your little layers box, you have two exactly the same. Now that we've got two, we're going to work on the bottom one. So we're going to click it. We're going to uncheck the top one. So as you can see, the bottom is highlighted and it's check marked. Now I'm going to go to adjustments. I'm going to go to black and white. There we have a total black and white image. Don't worry, we're going to get the flower purple. Now that we've got our black and white background, now we're going to check mark on our layers for the top layer to come in. We're going to click on it so that we can work on it and uncheck the bottom black and white layer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start making transparency around the flower or whatever image it is you want to stay colored. We have a whole video on doing this so we'll just do some quick. We'll go over and get our magic wand set it in a place and let's see we've got highlighted too much so we're going to have to take down our tolerance here we go now once this is highlighted and i see it's not eating into the flower i want i'm going to go on my keyboard and hit delete and we'll just do that as much as we can around the flower that's not going to eat into it I'm not going to worry about getting it totally just perfect because I'm going to have to clean it up with my erase tool anyway. You can play with where you place your magic wand and your tolerance at the top. So as you can see, we're getting pretty close. Go ahead and delete these. And this is a start. And now what I would do, instead of going through and trying to get all of this with my magic wand, I go over and grab my eraser. I'm going to take it pretty big to start with. Let's go at 225 and I'm going to just start cleaning this all up. You have to be careful if you're going to go and just hold down your cursor and do it. 
if you have to use the back button, it's going to erase everything from the last time you clicked. So I'm going to start doing this and I'll clean it up better in a minute. But to give you a little tip what I do to get up close and around the flowers, you can see that can be pretty tight and we don't want to screw it up. Go up to view. Do zoom in. You may even zoom in a few times. And as you can see, I now can get really close to that flower to start deleting. I'll probably want to make my eraser a good bit smaller so that I have a little more control and I'm going to start cleaning up around the flower. Now I'm going to go ahead and stop the video because I'm pretty sure none of you want to watch me click around on this flower for the next five minutes. So as soon as I get my flower cleaned up, I'll be right back. Okay, here we are back and I've cleaned up my flower and I've zoomed it back down to the normal size. As you can see, we have a checkered background, which means that's all transparent. Now all we need to do is go back over to our layers and I'm going to check mark the bottom layer, which is black and white. And as you can see, now we have a black and white background with our very purplish popped flower. If you find that you look at it now and you notice you've missed clearing out some spots, just go ahead and turn the background off. Go ahead and clean up more and you can do this until you save it. Okay, now that we've got this all done, if you want to and you want to add a little something extra, you can go up to your effects, go to render, go to borders and shapes, and we can put a border around it. And we can make that border any color we would like. And we have a whole tutorial on putting borders on your images. So if that's something you want to learn how to do, we do have a tutorial for that. So if you want to put a border, that's fine. You'd pick it, click OK. And of course, you can also add your watermark as we have a video on that too. So it's just that easy to take your normal full-sized image and make it all black and white with one little pop to grab some extra attention. We hope this has helped so you can have some more original images to share on your blogs, your websites, and your social media sites. Thanks for watching.